Ended up, I think, buying these for around 1500 and now they're going for like 3000 plus. I'm actually giving these away. I'm gonna include that giveaway on this video as well. Yo, do you think that I should give these away? What's going on, guys? My name is Easy Busta, and this is my sneaker collection. <laughs> To start off today's video, actually, I do have some shoes that I have on the floor here that are just right below my sneaker wall. And a lot of these shoes are just shoes that I wear like on the daily. A couple of them are actually dead stock that I have put away. But for the most part, these are just ones that I wear quite a bit. I keep them in the garage so when I leave, I don't have to take them out of here. And also there's no room, but I need to get some more boxes. But anyway, let's start off with these shoes. Here we got the Viotech Nike Dunks. Originally, these shoes came out in 2002. This is the most recent retro to come out. I think these came out last year in 2019. I could be wrong though, it might have been this year. Next shoe we have here, just a worn pair of Travis Jordan 1 Lowe's. Next one we have are the Rockefeller Air Force Ones. I mean, the only difference is really just that logo right there. Also, you can see it on the tongue and on the inside of the shoe. Next shoe that I've only worn once are my Supreme Air Force. I only bought them because of the color, honestly. It's like my favorite color. I was only able to wear them once because they are really small. I'm a true size 11. These are 10 and a half. Air Forces run really big, but these are the only ones that don't. So next shoe we have here is the CDG Dunk. These are actually a women's exclusive sneaker and they don't make them in my size. So I had to go a half size down. They do fit a little bit tight, but they're really thin. So they don't fit that small, but I do really like these. Next shoe we have are the SB Tiffany White Diamonds or Tiffany SB Diamond Whites. I don't even know what they're called, honestly. One of my favorite things about it is that you can actually peel off the Nike swoosh to reveal like the Tiffany blue underneath. Wow. Next sneaker we have are my Uncle Dunk Highs. I used to have a pair of these in a size 12 and they were worn and I tried to make them work, but honestly, they just fit way too big. So I ended up getting one in my size, a size 11. These are dead stock. I haven't found the right opportunity to wear these yet. I ended up, I think, buying these for around 1500 and now they're going for like 3000 plus. Next shoe we have are the Nike SB Bucks. It's probably my oldest sneaker that I have in my collection. I think these are from 2002. Ooh. Here we have another old dunk. These are the denim dunk CL lows. I think that's what they're called. Honestly, I think denim on any shoe looks so dope. The denim Reese Forbes SBs are one of my favorites, but I can't afford them because they're like 15 grand now. <laughs> so these will do for now, but I think these are super fire. The next shoe we have here are the Papa Bear SB highs. These came in a pack of three. It was the Papa Bear is the highs, Mama Bear is the mids, and the Baby Bear is as the lows. I like the highs the most. This is my used pair of the Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs. One of my favorite sneakers that came out last year. I have like, I think five or six pairs of these. One of my favorite shoes of last year. One of my favorite Jordans, classic colorway. Shadows, one of my favorite Jordans in my collection. These are probably my most beat pair of Jordans, honestly. Next up, we got the Bread or Band Ones. These are actually the first Jordans I ever got. I ended up getting them for my boy Tony in 2016, I wanna say. I think that's when they came out. The shoe I always have in my collection. Next sneaker we got here are the Travis Scott 4s. Another daily shoe. I actually wear these quite a bit. Next sneaker are the Sakai Blazers. I do really like this shoe. Now the next shoe that we have in my collection is really special to me. It's my Kobe 9 Fade to Blacks. These are the shoes that I play basketball in. I've always been like a Kobe and a Lakers fan. Rest in peace, Kobe, man. Another Kobe. These are my Fade to Black Kobe 11s. These were actually the last colorway that he played in. It's really cool because it has the date uh, that he retired, which was April 13th, 2016, I believe. All right, so since we made it through some of my used sneakers and some shoes that I just have in my closet, let's get started with the sneaker wall. So here we have my Adidas row, Turtle Doves right here, the original 350 that kind of started like the craze. I do have uh, all four colorways. I have the Turtle Doves, I have the Pirate Blacks right here, the Moon Rocks, and the Oxford Tans. Here we have a pair of the original 750s. We have the Triple Black 750, one of my favorite sneakers that Kanye's ever released. This shoe actually means a lot to me, the original Beluga. I was fortunate enough to get a pair for retail, which is cool. So we have uh, a pair of zebras down there. We got a pair of breads. This is a shoe that I really love too. One of my favorite Adidas Yeezys. The 700s, the Wave Runners. I remember when everyone was hating on these. Here we have a pair of the 700 V2s. These look like straight up grandpa shoes, if you ask me. Next shoe we have in my collection are just a pair of the Static Reflectives. Haven't really gotten a chance to wear them yet. This is one V2 that I love. 
the red stripes. Ended up actually being able to pick these up for retail. I do have the coppers and olives as well, but these ones are my favorite. Here we have uh, all three colorways of the off-white dunks. My favorite colorway is actually the pine green, the green ones. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really too crazy about the Michigan colorway or the yellow and blue ones. These are probably my least favorite out of the three, honestly. I do like the UNLV a little bit more than the Michigans, but the pine greens really take it for me. Next up, we have a pretty cool shoe in my collection. These are the off-white blazers. I have completely ruined these, but let me show you the other shoe because the other shoe is actually a little bit more important because these ones are signed by Virgil Abloh but I have the black ones and then I have the white version as well the original one is my favorite and then next up we have my off-white Jordan collection you know I had to do it to them there's no way I could have gone without having all three of these I mean just look at them like Virgil killed the shoe this is like the best Jordan he's done next sneaker we have in my collection are my MCA Air Force ones I love the blue on these they like pop like crazy really really like the shoe next up we have the off-white fives and it was also my 23rd birthday a couple days ago so I had to break these out with the 23s on the side. Next shoe we have are the off-white Prestos. Here are the white ones. I have the black ones too. I actually do have the OG colorway as well but I have those put away because I have them in a storage unit. Next shoe we have are actually one of my favorite off-whites. The original off-white Air Force One from the 10 collection. Hardest shoe in the world to clean by the way. You wear these once and they already look beat. We have the Volt Air Force One off-whites. This is a pretty dope shoe. Again impossible to clean. We have my Levi Dunk SBs, this is a very like not not at all hyped sneaker, but I like them. I think they're super, super clean. I haven't gotten a chance to wear them yet. Starting off at the top here, we have my lobster collection, the green lobsters. We got the red ones. We got the blue ones and we got the purples. For me, it goes like this. It goes green, probably purple, blue, and then the red. Love the lobsters, love the concept uh, behind the lobsters. Shout out my boy Rob Hepler actually on those if you're watching this, you're the man for those. Next sneaker we have in my collection are my Boba Fett SB Highs. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so you know I had to have these and also the colors on these are fire. Not my favorite Star Wars SB though. I'd say my favorite Star Wars SB is for sure this Jedi Dunk or the Jedi SB. I love the colorway on the sneaker, it's based off of Yoda. Next sneaker we have another old shoe, the Nike SB Ray Gun. Speaking of ray guns i pulled these guys out at the same time they released kind of retros i don't like them as much as i like the originals but i mean they're pretty cool here's a shoe that i have that i think is extremely slept on these are the shibuya air force ones i just love the colors on them and i love that you can actually see through the shoe we have some newer sbs this is actually one of the most recent sbs to come out these are the grateful dead nike sbs i have the green ones and then i have the yellows right here too you guys know the yellows because i'm actually giving these away i'm gonna include that giveaway on this video as well. All the rules will be down in the description if you guys want to join this giveaway. It's super easy. You guys just have to subscribe, follow me, like the video, all that stuff. Just go check it out. But anyway, one of my favorite things about these shoes is the fact that it has a little zipper and oh, what's this? Are these my Raycon earbuds? Is today's sponsor Raycon? And before you guys continue with today's video, let me tell you guys about today's sponsor, Raycon. Now I've told you guys about Raycon earbuds before, but I'm gonna tell you guys again because I mean it. Raycon earbuds started about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds out there. And they sound just as amazing as any other top audio brand that you might know. Raycon is great for working at home, working out, and listening to music and podcasts for hours at a time and without driving your neighbor or your annoying roommate crazy. Their everyday E25 earbuds are their best models yet with up to six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. It also comes in fun new colors like this blue one that I have. Click the link in the description to get 15% off your order down below. Go to buyraycon.com slash easy to get at 15% off your order. This video is brought to you by Raycon. Now get back into the video. You know, I had to have that thing on me when, you know, I'm rocking my Grateful Dead. One of the craziest releases of the year definitely was the Ben & Jerry Nike SB. The details on this shoe are insane. The cow, hair, the rainbow swirl. One of my favorite things about the shoe is actually when it says, if it's not fun, why do it? One of my favorite releases of the year. I just love the concept. I love Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Shout out Ben and Jerry's, please sponsor me. Actually don't because I need to lose weight. So right below the Ben and Jerry's dunk, we have another ice cream sneaker. We have the Stussy SB. Next shoe we have are the original Tiffany Nike SBs. Next sneaker we have are the Supreme Nike SBs. One of my favorite things about them is actually, if you hold them right next to each other, the insoles spell Supreme. 
which I think is pretty cool. Now next shoe is a little bit of an oddball. Two of my um, Sakai waffle racers or Sakai waffles, I don't know the exact name. Next up is my favorite Air Force, probably of all time. I love this Air Force. It's the CDG Times Supreme Nike Air Force One. I love the detailing on the shoe. Next up, we got a little simple Supreme Air Force One. It's literally just an all white Air Force One with the Supreme box logo just embossed. Nothing special, honestly. But you know, I had to have them because I'm a hype beast. I mean, everything does look better with the Supreme logo on it. Am I right? This is a very slept on Air Force in my opinion. The 112 pack. The whole upper right here is all 3M. The next ones we have for you guys are the Nike Air Force One clots. So I have the blue colorway and the black colorway. I'm still waiting on my pink ones to come in the mail. The blue colorway is just clot and Nike, but the black colorway is clot, Nike, and fragment design. And the coolest thing about these shoes is actually if you take off this like silk, underneath it's another design. So underneath you can see the leather and underneath these ones, I believe it's red. And underneath the blue ones, I don't know what color it is. I think it's black or white, but I don't know. Next Air Force that I have are the original Travis Scott Air Force Ones. I did say in my last sneaker collection video that I was gonna have these tie dyed, but honestly the price went up like crazy on them. So I kind of decided to keep them dead stock. Next sneaker, I actually like these more than the other Travis Scott Air Forces just because they're kind of like a crazier design. Not a fan of this weird like flap thing that's at the top, but if you take it off, like in my opinion, the shoe looks a lot better. Travis killed the shoe besides this weird flappy thing. Next sneaker we have in my collection is probably one of my favorite Travis Scott sneakers. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely up there. I really like this sneaker. Next sneaker we have here are my Travis Jordan 4s. This is like the brand new pair. I know this is gonna be an unpopular opinion, but my favorite Travis Scott Jordan are the Jordan 6s. I love the olive color on the shoe. I am biased because green is my favorite color. And then the fact that they also glow in the dark makes them that much cooler. I already showed you guys my used pair, but it's the Travis Scott Jordan 1 low. And then on top we have the Travis Scott Jordan 1 high. Equally awesome shoes, but I just like the lows a little bit more for some reason. I know I'm probably gonna get, gonna get roasted for that, but who cares? Okay. Moving on from Travis's, we're gonna go on to my Jordan 1s. Right here, we have my Fragment Jordan 1s. Next sneaker we have are my Union Jordan 1s. I have the Storm Blue colorway and the Black Toe colorway. Next sneaker we have are my second pair of uh, Bread, AKA Band 1s. Next sneaker we have are my Soul Flies. I really like these because they're green and also the shattered backboard Jordan 1 is one of my favorites. So it's just a shattered backboard with green, which I thought was cool. Next sneaker we got are my shattered backboards. Like I just mentioned, uh, one of my favorite Jordan 1s that I have in my collection and the leather on these. These are the Shattered Backboard 2.0s. And then I also have the 3.0s with a weird creased, already creased patent leather. I'm not really that big of a fan, honestly, but had to have them to complete the Shattered Backboard collection. Next sneaker we have are the Defiant Jordan 1s. This is actually a Jordan 1 SV collab. So I don't know, I think they're pretty sick. So next shoe we got are my Levi's Jordan 4s. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I think denim on sneakers looks so fire. I really like this shoe. Next sneaker we have in my collection are the Sean Witherspoon. Air Maxes. Next up we got is actually one of my favorite sneakers in my collection. It is my Cause Jordan 4s. I think that this is a super fire shoe. Next uh, sneaker we have are my Supreme 5s. I actually like the Supreme 5s a lot more than the Off-White 5s. Next shoes we have uh, are actually a little bit of like a curveball. You guys probably wouldn't have expected me to have 7s, but I got two Jordan 7s right here. The original Pata colorway, and this was actually the friends and family colorway that they ended up releasing right after. Shout out to Pata Amsterdam for hooking me up with these early. And shout out to my boy Vincenzo and Pata Milano for hooking me up with these. Next up, we got the OVO Jordan 8 Calipari pack. These are the friends and family OVO Jordan Calipari pack. You guys can see the little owls on the back. So these actually never released. They were friends and family, only for like Drake's friends and family. And uh, they came out in this pack. So they're like the two colors. Shout out my boy Mickey from the Mag Park for hooking me up with these. So the next sneaker in my collection is the Doran Becker 4. So now this is actually one of my favorite shoes that I have in my collection. I love the concept behind the shoe. The Doran Becker Foundation is incredible. I think it's so cool that they give these kids an opportunity to actually design their own Jordan. And now last but not least, we got to the very end, are my Air Yeezy 2s. So now here we have my Red Octobers, probably my favorite sneaker of all time. Honestly, it's really hard for me to like pinpoint it on one shoe, but if I had to give you an answer right now, I'd probably say the Red Octobers. I've wanted the shoe since 2013 and I picked them up a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago from my boy Dre at Project Blitz. Thank you for hooking me up with these. Last but not least are my Solar Red Air Yeezy 2s. I've worn 
worn these quite a few times. Like I only break them out on like special occasions. It is one of my favorite sneakers and they're a lot more wearable than the Red Octobers for sure. So uh, I've worn these a bunch. I haven't worn the Red Octobers yet because I'm saving those for a special occasion. This shoe is one of my favorite shoes that I have in my collection. Anyway guys, that was actually most of my sneaker collection. I'm gonna be doing one of these videos like every year or so just to give you guys like a quick update. Also guys, make sure you guys check out today's sponsor. It actually does help me a lot if you guys click the link in the description. Obviously don't feel pressured to buy anything at all, but if you guys just, could just click on the link, it does mean a lot to me. But anyway guys, with all that said, if you guys got to the end of the video, you guys are the real Busta fam. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys leave a like, make sure you guys are subscribed if you aren't already. Thank you guys for getting to the end of the video. I appreciate you guys, love you guys, and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Yo, do you think that I should give these away? Yeah, I mean, they don't they don't look like they're worth that much. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna give these away. But we did get the um, opening little segment though. That's gonna be good. <laughs>